Correctional Center in Alderson. I'm being kicked out of here, and my reasons for wanting to stay was because I maintained the day I was sentenced that I wanted to be where my family was. I am one with the Manson family, and as long as they were in prison, I said that's where I wished to be. I would rather stay in jail knowing I had done something than to be uh, so weak that I take no responsibility for the earth that our children are going to have to live in. The world in. court of people who care about a living and a decent quality of life, they were warned that these, this International People's Court of Retribution was on the move. So what and I'm sorry, that they were ahead. subject to whatever measures the People's Court sought fit to take. Were the measures spelled out, I mean, as to what may happen? In some respects, yeah. Basically, these people that are harming life on Earth will get back what they put out, and that's pretty hideous. So that's I mean, real hideous. I can witness to Manson. Whoever wants to live will be in the will for life and will work for life. They'll work to clean their air. They'll work to clean their water. They'll work to put back into the Earth what's been taken from it. These people will be in the will of life. And tomorrow night, Sandra Good talks further about her relationship with Manson. Because he is inside of everybody. Manson lives inside of everybody. Uh, cares about money and the kind of car he drives and all that. He doesn't need any of those things to give him his identity. He's what he looks at. He's everything. He's very, very lively. He's very very animated, very wise. Uh, he's not like anybody you've ever met. Children naturally like him and animals naturally like him. And real down-to-earth people like him. People that are lying, people that are playing a lot of games, people that are hurting life on Earth, they fear him. And it's really their own selves that they fear because he is inside of everybody. Manson lives inside of everybody. Manson spent his childhood in Charleston. Good met him by chance in California and is the mother of his son. But ten years later, Good says she has no regrets for what landed her in prison. Why not? Because I did what I felt was right. I didn't even hardly do anything. It's my um, family that made all the sacrifices. They were willing to give their lot. When they took those lives, they were willing to give their lives to the gas chamber. It wasn't all taking, it was a sacrifice on their part. But Good's still reluctant to discuss the Tate murders, other than to say they were a reaction to what she calls violence in the 60s, Vietnam and environmental pollution. Yes, there's a lot of different um, ways to view those murders, which it would take a courtroom with everybody talking. Six years after the Tate murders, fellow family member and Sandra's roommate, Lynette Squeaky Fromm, was charged with the attempted assassination of then-President Gerald Ford. The people were pushing and shoving to get closer. Not seen by the following cameras, but spotted by Secret Service agent Larry Boondorf, was a hand with a gun in it coming through the crowd. At the time, Good said she wasn't aware of plans by Fromm to kill the president. He doesn't represent the people. He represents money. He's a robot. He's a computer. He has a lot of data. What about Lynette's assassination attempt on President Ford? Uh, you, how do you feel about that? That's correct. Cool. We tried. Fromm, also serving time at Alderson, wouldn't talk. Tomorrow, Good discusses her life on a life sentence in California. Ask Manson how he can help. He needs, he needs to be out from under what he's under, but things are going to get really, really bad in this country. Things are going to get ho horrendous. And new policies are going to be mind capable of dealing with the problems that are going to be besetting us. Even today, Good wears several reminders of her ties mm. to the past. These are the colors of my family. This is green, Leslie Van Houten. Yellow is Pat Krenwinkel. Gold is another family woman. Red is Lynette. Violet is Susan. And blue is myself. And this is a, um, Charlie makes uh, dolls out of his socks. You know, those nylon socks, he takes them apart. He has very little in his cell can hardly have anything. And so he's real good with his hands. He's always making things. And 
He makes different types of dolls. Some are really big. Some are like scorpions. Some look like Indian warriors. Yeah, they're they're powerful. This is this is the mark that most of the Manson women have on their their heads. Manson has a swastika, which is a universal symbol. While at Alderson, Good tended this garden alongside the prison. Serving life on Earth, you're serving people. If you're not serving life on Earth, you're hurting people. There's no separation. On Friday, Sandra Good will pass through these gates for the first time since 1976. The prison will give her $100 and a plane ticket. I have faith that it will work out. I'm not going to compromise my principles. I would rather be a bum than get a paycheck from something like Union Carbide. I think that is the most degrading thing a human being can resort to. I want a country clean and at peace. The Justice Department is deciding where to send good. She'll report to her parole officer until 1990. Alan Cohen, WCHS-TV, News 8, Alderson, West Virginia. It has maintained all along that she wanted to return to California to visit Manson, who's serving a life sentence near Sacramento. My plan did not involve harm to anyone. I wanted to get a bicycle, put in a garden, and in an orderly way, try to visit Manson. Now her plans include remaining at Alderson, where she'll probably continue work on this garden alongside the prison chapel. That could be as long as... ...convicted of the original Manson gang mass killings back in 1969. Instead, she was one of the Manson followers, she bore his child, who sat outside the courtroom muttering dark threats to passersby. They've convicted these people, and you are next, all of you. Good's own conviction came later, arrested in 1975 for sending death threats to corporate executives she said were polluting the earth. Her best friend here is another Manson cultist, Lynette Squeaky Fromm, arrested in 1975 for trying to kill then-President Gerald Ford. Good herself has sometimes said she wanted to stay in prison because Manson is in prison. I maintained the day I was sentenced that I wanted to be where my family was. been released today after serving 10 years of a 15-year sentence for writing threatening letters to business executives. But she would not promise to stay away from cult leader Charles Manson and his disciples.